How much is my entire stack worth? It's a good question to ask yourself, to actually put your precious metals all together and ask, hey, how much is my precious metal worth? Today I did all the math, I wrote it down, I took some notes, and I put everything side by side together. I came to figure out how much my gold and silver is worth. Welcome to another video of Urban Lifestyle where our goal is to help you guys create a better life by creating better health and better wealth. And you guys can also help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a thumbs up, also leaving a comment down on this video right here. And don't forget to add me on my social media platform, links are found in the description below. What else there is to say? Let's go. I'm working for work, babe. So I've been doing this for a while. This is about six months worth of stacking. Let me see if I can move the camera so you guys can see. All right, so I have all my coins here. Well, all my money, like dimes, nickels, 10 cents, half a dollar, and dollars itself. We have some notes here. We have all the silver grams that I've brought, which I won't be doing no more. We have a 10 ounce bar. We have my ounce gold. We have my grams gold here and more up here. All these are grams of gold. Even this right here is a gram. And we have all my ounce of silver right here laid out in front of us and things like that. So I've been doing some calculating and sitting down to calculate how much everything is worth actually changed my whole strategy going on in the future. So I was kind of disappointed. So I practically did the math on all this here. And if you actually look at it, a gram of gold is actually worth $40.81, while an ounce of gold is actually worth, right now, current at the time of recording, is actually worth $1,320, all right? And I also have a tenth of an ounce, I did the price check on that one as well, a tenth of an ounce is, is $132. Now, everything I'm telling you was on spot price. I did not factor in the price that I paid for it, um, as far as premium, I took all that down and I just brought it down to the base spot price. Now as far as silver, every gram, every gram you see here is actually 53 cents, which is stupid. Like definitely, I'm glad I caught on to this way earlier. I brought each for about maybe close to $2. I forgot the actual price, but I know it was above $1 and a little bit, old, a little bit under $2. But if you actually look at the spot price for one gram of silver, it actually is 53 cents. So I overpaid. Well, we already know that, but now just looking at it, actually writing down the numbers, I actually see how much I overpaid by and see how stupid it was. When we look at an ounce of silver, it's actually, right now, current price, $16.55. Now, let's go through everything. So I did the calculation. So for every gram of gold, that I have, I have about 20 grams of gold. And I factor in everything, like this is two grams right here. So I broke it down, I added that to the 20. Okay, so I put all the grams together and it came up to 20 grams. Including this $100 bill right here, that's wrapped around in one gram of fine gold. Calculated everything, even the ones that, that are in the back right there. I calculated all that. So all that is 20, which, the price will accumulate to $816.20. Now, if we go to the ounce, I only have one ounce of gold. Okay, let me back it up so you guys can see the full picture. I only own one ounce of gold, and that's actually the regular price, $1,320 for an ounce of gold current right now. Okay, now the one-tenth of an ounce spot price if we could look right here, the one-tenth of an ounce is actually $132. So every piece of gold that I actually own right here on this bed laid down for you today is actually worth $2,270 when you factor in all the price. Okay, and that's spot price. When you go to a dealer, what you're going to get? You're going to get like a little bit under spot price. You never know. So as far as making money right now for what I actually paid for them, it's not gonna happen. I would have to hold on to them for quite a while, which that was the plan in the first place. Now when we go to the silver, which is what actually breaks my heart when looking at it, gram of silver is 53 cents. And I told you I paid a little bit under $2 for them. 
Okay, so I own right now with everything factored in, every gram I own, including this, every gram I own is factored to be about 53 grams of silver that I own that you see before you today. Now, if you actually do the math on it, it actually comes up to $28.10. Now, just in this alone, I have about 48 just in this alone. So if I said I'm paying about $2, under $2, we're, we're, we're talking about over $90 that I actually paid for those grams. Yes, I took the huge profit loss just because of ignorance. So I'm hoping anyone that's watching this video, practically you, uh, all you guys should know, but if anyone that doesn't know that's watching this video, don't make that mistake. All right, guys, so I froze the video right here to let you guys know it's not really a profit loss because it's only a loss when you actually sell them. But let's say silver actually goes up to, let's say, $60, which is a bit of a stretch, but let's just say that. Then I sell them, then I'll really make a profit off it. Not as much profit as I would if I just brought ounces in general, but it's still a profit as well. So it's not technically a profit loss. All right, let's go back to the video now. Now, when we go to the ounces, as far as silver coins and silver bars, I actually own about 14 bars and 23 coins. So the bars itself, when you factor that in with the price of silver, spot price is $231.70. As far as the coin, the 23 coins comes up to $380.65. So let's factor in everything as far as the ounces for silver. We count 45 pieces. As a matter of fact, in my calculation, I did not add, I did not add this two tre ounce right here. So the price I'm about to factor in is minus about $30 or so. Okay, so I have 45 without the, the skull I just showed you, 45 ounces of silver, which comes up to $700 and $44.75. So let's just round that off. Well, let's just add an extra $30 to that and we'll say it's $774.75. So if we add everything together, as far as the gold and silver, it, it turns out to be that my stack is actually worth $3,070. I think I spend about maybe a good 500 more than that. Of course, with the premium and all this, I, I would definitely have more if I didn't spend my money on the gram, but hey, it was just a mistake. Ain't gonna happen again. Now, of course, I didn't factor in the quarters, the dimes, the nickels, and the half dollars, and the dollars themselves. Because basically, I couldn't find the equation, or I didn't do enough research to find the equation for each worth of every nickel, dime, and quarters here. So that's what I wanted to ask you guys. If we do the math on that, I actually have $4.80 worth of dimes. I have $3 worth of quarters. I actually have about $1 in nickels and $1 in these right here. John F. Kennedy half dollars here. Plus this $1 here and $2 silver Morgan. And I wanted to see if you guys can help me out by factoring all this here and tell me how much more is those coins worth right there. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to add me on my social media platform. Links found in the description. And hopefully you guys found some value on this. And I'll definitely say you guys should do that yourself. You guys see some hidden stuff that you guys should probably do yourself. But thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. That's why.